got. Will teachers be going on strike? That ballot result is for me, not you. Oh, right. Um, um, uh, teachers are at the end of their tether, as reported in The Guardian. Uh, the NEU general secretary says ahead of Wednesday's strike that teachers are undervalued, underpaid, overworked and, and poorly dressed. I've seen the strikes and... Uh, <laughs> They just, they don't look good. They don't look good. They love their house with messy man. hair. I feel bad for those kids. And uh, on the February 1st, there's going to be a big strike. Half a million workers across the public sector are striking. And uh, Rishi's government continues to face a relentless wave of industrial unrest. And they seem unable to even come forward with any offer whatsoever. They have said, uh, Rishi and his chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, have repeatedly insisted that they are not willing to reopen the current year's settlements for public sector workers, claiming that doing so could stoke Inflation, but they, the, these workers, they want more than the average uh, rate, uh, rate hike of their payment of 5%. They want more than that because if they were to receive that, then their salaries would continue to go down. And over the next 10 years, their, salary, their pay would actually decline by 6,600 pounds by giving them anything less than an inflation plus rise, which is what they're asking for, you know. So it, it's, it's bad. I mean, I think Rishi, it just looks... It's, it's, uh, they were worried about this, this Zahawi thing, and I, I think that was terrible for them for the last week. But this has been looking bad for months for them. Terrible press. Well, all of industry mm -hmm. action, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of people argue on this story saying most teachers didn't actively vote to strike, but that's the nature of voting, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. no one ever then follows it up with, well, most people didn't vote for a Conservative government. Right, yeah. It's interesting how they pick and choose. Well, how they, they have had 34,000 new members join the NEU. Yeah, yeah. But look, the government is in a tricky situation. They are trying to keep inflation down, and the reality is to give all of those pay rises will have an impact on it and they're trying to play a waiting game where they are hoping and it is looking increasingly more so that inflation will come down by the end of the year in which case they can renegotiate then mm. now that isn't to say that public workers uh public service work like teachers like nurses don't deserve more money because they do they do do hard jobs but at the same time as a parent uh, who has been told for years that each day in school counts and to whatever it's it feels like suddenly it's a little bit like well so my, it, this day doesn't count towards their eventual development? But these teachers can't pay their, their, their energy bill. They can't feed themselves either. You know, and also, it's like, I, I, so how we just paid, what, uh, almost $6 million. They could just yeah. take some well, of Well, if we get the Tories to pay their taxes, that might, that might help. That might help I did bit. hear one also, point of view on this saying, you know, our teachers claim that they work so hard in the holidays. Mm. Why don't they strike on one of those days? Yeah. wouldn't affect the kids and would get in all the newspapers. So yeah. it's actually... Well, also, but the good news is that on Wednesday... Um, is when Black Panther 2 comes out on Disney. Mm. So that's our day sorted. <laughs> yeah. Some good lessons in there.